Guys, guess what day it is? It's Movie Magic Monday, that's what day it is. And today, we're gonna to be talking about the easiest way to get into special effects right here in Premiere Pro. Um, and that is masking. What's up guys, Cornelius Franklin here, and welcome back to yet another episode of Movie Magic Monday. If you haven't already, feel free to go down, hit the subscribe button. We have videos coming out every single week on different filmmaking techniques. And today we're gonna to be talking about masking, which is the easiest way to get into um, basically special effects as a whole. So if you want to like give yourself a twin or like put the ocean in a mug, be a giant outside a window, um, fly like Superman, all of these things can be achieved using masking inside Premiere Pro. So let's get started inside Premiere Pro. So this here is the effect we're gonna be showing you how to pull off. We wanted to drop the camera, but not break it. Okay, so let's just go in here and delete this stuff so that we can start again. This is quite a simple effect, so we only need two things. We need a clean plate and then the footage we're gonna mask out of. Right, so let's just start here. Click I to mark an in point, O to mark an out point, and drag this into the timeline. And we're just gonna trim this down to the point where uh, she's just about to catch the camera. Then we want to drag in our clean plate. So just clicking this little tape icon type thing, dragging that down, that'll just bring down the footage and none of the audio. Then we want to go over into the effects control panel. This is where we're actually gonna be able to apply the mask. So the first thing we're gonna do with the clean plate selected, we're gonna drag down the opacity to allow us to see the footage underneath. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the point where her hands are at the highest point so we can draw the mask around. And we're using the three draw bezier mask for this one. So we're just gonna draw our mask all the way around. And just by clicking on the mask path, you can actually add more points and be able to pull the mask slightly further away. This will just give us a little bit more space. Then we're gonna take the opacity all the way back up again and it looks like this. Pretty good. Now we need to change the color. So opening up the color adjustments panel, selecting color wheel and match. So for this to work, we need a clean section of the clip underneath. So we're just dragging it out and cutting it off and dragging it away somewhere. Then we're gonna select comparison view and drag the blue slider over to our second clean clip. Once we've done that, we're gonna go over and click apply match. Now this is looking much, much better. Now we're gonna select both clips and side click and choose nest. This is gonna join the two clips together. Now holding down alt, we're gonna click on the clip and drag it out to duplicate. Then we're gonna side click on the second clip, go to speed and duration and choose reverse speed. This is gonna give us that boomerang bounce effect. And you're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. We have videos coming out every single Monday on different filmmaking or cinematography editing sort of techniques. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time.